Hey guys, welcome to the story of Germany's cheapest VW Beals um, that I bought because, well, probably because I'm stupid. Anyway, so originally the idea was get it home, put it in the carport, and then show you. But kind of a problem because well, the EOS made it home. EOS update. We've just picked the car up and we needed to stop for petrol. Um, yeah. This is Thomas <laughs> looking for a button that exists probably in the boot, but he can't open the boot. <laughs> what? I also can't see how much my range is because the roof error message doesn't go away. <laughs> It wants to do something though when I try to open it, but I'm not sure I want to. I mean, how much more windy can it be? Yeah, he um, can't close the windows because the top <laughs> panels are not in. But, no. So, here's the start of the dreaded EOS. Still trying to open all the things. Boot doesn't open. Petrol tank doesn't open. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. I think he's probably ringing the dealer now to ask him. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, I called him. He has no clue. He said there should be a button in the inside, but he hasn't opened the gas tank in like, like this year at all. So... Thomas has been told to move the car out of the way. <laughs> now he's going to run me over. And Thomas has just found out that the door is, uh, the button is in the driver's door, which, well, there's nothing in the driver's door, so there's no buttons in the driver's door. So I think now the plan is to put the buttons in the driver's door. Oh look, there's a button around here somewhere. Ooh. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> or some door parts. <laughs> so, and these should have, oh yeah, they're right here. This is where it is. Great. So let's see what needs hooking up. <laughs> oh dear. So we'll let you know. And the petrol tank open. Yeah, Ooh. I don't think it does. Nope. You need my car to come start it. <laughs> this is what's happening now. Jump start the I'm glad you're filming all of this. <laughs> you're welcome. Let's see. Yo! Wow, that sounds sh Getting in the car. It's got the fuel. Let's go. Oh dear. Oh dear. So, um, I've just spoken to the police and uh, he asked uh, basically what I'm doing behind and why I'm following him and it turns out Thomas was using his phone whilst driving as usual. Um, 
not quite sure how many times Thomas has been caught with his phone driving. Uh, so he's going to um, maybe get into some trouble again. <laughs> uh, I think this EOS is bad news. I'm currently showing the police the loose roof and the loose door and basically everything else. This man is now banging on the roof of the EOS. <laughs> ah. This car. <laughs> yeah, viel Spaß damit. Tschüss. <laughs> so this was in the center console. So he's like, I saw your phone. I'm like, oh, I have phones here, but they're somewhere under there. He's like, where? Show me. So I start digging for my phones and I'm like, I had this in my hand because this just came off the ceiling there. He's like, oh, oh, well then. And then he asked for the story of the car and I'm like, yeah, well, there we go. And uh, he's like, yeah, okay, sorry for the annoyance. Oh. <laughs> you sneaky bastard. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Laters, alligators. <laughs> <laughs>Concerned for a moment. Yeah, I guess you get the tour of the EOS just by seeing and jump stop the M5. Um, as you can see, there's a few things missing here. The door panel over there is, um, well, there. If I open this, I need to carefully hold the door panel on because it's just loosely hanging there and I had to reattach it to get this button there. The fuel filler button otherwise I can't refill the car which I found out about 10 minutes after I bought it um, more parts back here that's where the roof mechanism is or part of it um, yeah right now problems are well the roof doesn't work obviously sunroof works trunk doesn't want to open um, I kind of presume it's because it's not aligned properly because of well it tilts back for the roof to open I think it has something to do with that. Um, other than that, yeah, I don't know. Let's let's get this started so we can swap these two around because this is supposed to be here because I don't know how tight this sunroof is or roof roof. Well, soaked up. Let's see if that works. It's still connected to the charger too, so well, it should have all the juice it needs in theory. Yep. Let's have a look. Oh, there we go. Right away. Now, let's undo all that stuff. Oh. Let's undo all the things. Almost broke something that I didn't need to break. So now let's uh, musical cars, I guess, huh? Well, that went well. Um, roof over temperature, nice. And uh, it's not still don't not doing anything. I wanted to have a look in the trunk through this year and uh, just see. Tons of panels, so I can't reach there or get any of these panels out of there. Um, and now I figured, okay, I'm just gonna leave it alone. I got some more things out of the way. Um, yeah, I figured I'm just gonna leave it alone. Um, the windows are down, and they don't want to go back up. So 
sunroof is closed. The roof isn't doing anything. When I pull this, I hear something in the back. I don't know if you can hear that. Well, I guess we're back to over temperature. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, oh, it's clicking. I have no idea what it is. It's maybe the motor or something trying to do a thing. Um, I'm just gonna leave it alone for now. Get all the parts in inside and uh, maybe it will do something then. I don't know. Well, I found something in the car that I didn't really want to find like that. This is, uh, well, it's called the spider for kind of obvious reasons. Um, it's apparently a tube mechanism that has these steel wires or whatever these are, flex wires, running inside of it. Um, and that is like something something roof related and well let's put it this way um i don't think these should be like that and they don't really look reattachable so yeah cool story um he did not mention anything about that so what i'm hoping right now is um that this is from the old roof so i'm gonna go and find I would have to remove the headliner in the car and check if the one in the car is still in place and intact. And if not, oh well. We are back in the EOS and um, I'm sitting in the back seat uh, having a look in the trunk, looking for the trunk release that is not this one but one for the hooks that hold the trunk in the convertible position and I think it's somewhere back there like there all the way in the back but um, not sure anyway I've researched a little bit more um, turns out the spider as it's called is sitting in here and let me see if I can get in there but oh yeah I can see it let's see if I can focus on that yes I can oh, I almost could there you go it's right there, it's in there, so that is not the problem. The one I have in the cellar is apparently from the old roof. Um, well, still can't operate the windows. Um, where's my key? Key, key. There we go, key. So, let's go again. I still can't operate the windows, it seems. Everything jumps on and it's gonna go immediately for Roof, continue roof operation, yes. I don't wanna. I want to window. Nope. Okay, it notice it knows they're down, but it doesn't want to bring him up. Hmm. Well it doesn't have a roof error right now. It only says continue roof operation, so I'll remove the cover that's on it and try again. So, let's try that. Um, pull or push? I think pull was opening. So, um, I, well, I would actually like it to close, but... Um, well, maybe pushing was not closing. Oh, interesting. New message. Real lock open. Uh, it just said, it's just said real lock open, I swear. There we go. Relock open. Um, uh, oh no. Opening. Op it wants me to open. Oh no. Let's try this then. Open. As far as I'm concerned. Pushing again. It's opening the sunroof. Uh, open real lock. Well. Well, I, I would like to, but I don't know if I can, because pulling on this... Nope. Let's pull again and push the button at the same time. Uh, no. Nothing. Sweet F.A. So... Nope, 
nothing there. Trying with the remote, doesn't work. Falling here again, pushing. Nope. Nope. Well, let's try to close it. Team failure. System error. Lovely. Um, uh, I don't know. No idea. Back to Google. Well, in one last update for today, um, some good news. We have closed windows. They're all four closed. And all it took was disconnect the battery so it forgets all about its roof issues, at least temporarily. And then you can just roll the windows up again until you try to move the roof again. Then that doesn't move again. So I just did that twice because, well, obviously I had to try if the roof works just because reasons. Um, I also noticed now that this roof, this is the only aluminum part of the roof. This is glass, back is glass. This part has obviously some hail damage because I see all the little dents. I think I can, you can see them on the video. Yep, lovely. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for today, and um, yeah, I already talked to some people and they basically all said the same thing. The trunk is probably locked in the um, convertible opening position, which has like two little latches there and there. Instead of just the big one in the middle for trunk purposes, like this way. So. Um, for the option for that is crawling in there and un unlocking them, which is probably impossible based on the stuff in the trunk. Or apparently uh, VCDS, the VW Diagnostic Software, can do that, or at least move the roof around or whatever and give you specific errors. So I might just be stuck with buying that anyway, and not just at any point, but pretty soon. I guess that's it for today, so see you in the next video.